Good day guys and welcome back to Down Under Extended. So today we're going to be showing you how to factory reset your IQ4. And it's a bit interesting and we're going to show you just how to do it. So hopefully you guys are having a great night. Now this video is going to go for about 30 minutes. Also it's going to be live at 11.30 um, Western Australia time. So let's get into it and we'll show you just how to um, reset your Foxtel IQ4. And there might be multiple different reasons of why you want to do this. It's not working properly or you're having common errors that may be occurring. Now there are a few errors and you need to keep in mind these errors that you are going to have when you factory reset. It's not just smooth sailing. Um, it's quite a bit complex of what some of the stuff we need to do, which you don't really know about. So we're going to get a few errors and we're going to tell you the few errors that we're going to just discuss now. And then later you, through the video, when we do the reset, we'll show you just how to do that. So one of them is obviously F1013. So that is one of the errors right there that you will come up and I'm going to show you how to solve that too. And keep in mind, we will need to reboot the box around four times to completely fix this. Normally it's around three times. You need to 100% reboot your box. And this is so it clearly gets through the system. There's a few errors that we are going to come across. Also, we're going to come across the F0101, which is another error we are going to come across. And also, finally, we're going to come across another error again. And that's obviously going to be your F1013. Two, and that is the final error will pop up on the Foxtel IQ4. And don't worry, we will show you just what to do um, in this video. The only thing that we will not be able to show you, which we will have the video linked down below, is as soon as we um, reset this box, basically it's going to remove your Bluetooth remote. So you're going to have to repair that one in. Now obviously just hit the Bluetooth button and then hit the pair button on your remote and basically you're all good. Uh, if you've got an IQ2 remote, no worries there. Also, you're going to lose all your recordings. So if you've got any good recordings, you're going to remove them. They will be removed. Even if you hit keep, they're going to be gone. Your schedule recordings will be gone. Okay, so keep in mind that will all be gone. So everything will be gone completely. It will be just like you got a brand new Foxtel IQ4. So let's get into it. And another thing that will pop up before we really get into it, um, especially when we talk about the... F1013, that particular error will tell you which tuning channel's in. And then when it does it, it's going to tell you to reboot the box, which is actually F0101. And basically, when you try to change the channels, it's not going to change at all. And basically, to do this, you need to reboot the box and do a couple other things that we will show you how to completely do. So this feature is pretty hidden. So what we want to do is hit Library. From Library, you want to navigate over to Settings. So you want to navigate over to settings and then hit advance. From advance, you want to type this code in on the screen. 0611 and then hit the select button. We'll try that again. 0611 and there we go. From here, you want to just click that new option you're going to see down the bottom under signals, uh, signals test. From there, click on that option. And you want to just click on reset full system. Now, do not muck with any other settings on this page or you will, in fact, yeah, your box will be destroyed. It can be destroyed, especially when we go into the LMB net settings. Um, don't muck with any of that. If you do, you are going to have to get tech support to come to your house and fix this one. And you could be in trouble for mucking with this sort of stuff. Okay, um, so don't muck with any of this at all. Let's just go over to resetting this box. So obviously you're going to get a confirm to pop up and basically what this is going to be telling you is to reset and um, you're just going to hit, have to hit confirm to do it. And this is obviously going to remove everything on your box. Now you're going to lose picture for about two minutes and we'll bring the picture back up obviously when it's been fully reset um, as my capture card will turn off as soon as this box reboots. So let's do it. So yeah, it's going to be pretty smooth. Well, sort of smooth sailing in the fact that I'll be able to show you exactly the problems that you are going to have. Uh, there are going to be a few reboots because as soon as we get in, it's obviously not going to allow us to watch anything. And um, yeah, I've done this a few times just to confirm all my steps are correct and they should be. So let's get into it. So currently the box is just rebooting on. Also, one thing I did forget, to stop any lags or problems, we do need to do a software update with no internet connection. 
Obviously you can do it with internet, but we recommend without internet, that way it'll be a lot smoother to do. So it's nearly rebooted completely. So this video shouldn't take as long as 30 minutes, but we'll wait and see, it may, because there's a few other steps that we do need to take um, care of. Um, but again, errors can easily happen and that could delay the video a bit. So it seems the box has just turned on. So we're still getting the Foxtel 4K. And basically it'll turn off and turn off, turn on, turn off, turn off, turn on. It does it about six times. Okay, so on the screen right now, as I will just hit the input button so we can, you can see the picture, you're gonna see an F0, uh, F1013. So on the screen right now, this is the error that I was talking about. This is one error that you are gonna have. And basically you can wait until this gets to 99. Um, it totally will not do anything. This actually does nothing. Uh, sometimes it can disappear. And then you'll get your So basically what's happening now is it wants us to go back. Now to do this, we need to repair that remote. Now again, um, we will have the link on the screen right now. So you do need to pair that remote. Again, you just need to click on the Bluetooth button, click on the red button at the back of your remote, click on select. And now we are connected. So we just want to connect right there. Now, as you see, you're going to have this option. Now, you're going to see you won't be able to get off this option. Okay, so we'll just show you. So if we try to change the channel, we'll just show you the little error we'll, we'll get. Um, it's basically just going to constantly give you this error. And it um, doesn't matter how long you leave it. I've left this for an hour. It will not come off this option. And basically, if you're wanting to get to your Foxtel pretty fast, and get back to watching what you were doing. Basically, do a software update. So, again, we will show you exactly how to do that. You wanna go over to your box. Again, you wanna hold it down. So you'll get this error too with the um, call Foxtel and then no signal. This you'll get a lot, so just ignore that. What you need to do over here, you need to hold down the power button and keep holding it down until it hits blue. So it's gonna go red, then it's gonna go back to blue. When it's back to blue, just tap it five to three times. Okay. As you see, now we're in the update stage. Now you can always go to your Wi-Fi and connect to it. And check out some other features but I've tried this multiple times and it really doesn't make any difference the best way yet that you need to do this is just fully do that update even though it's not going to update anything um, when you do this it just makes it run really well the box will run really good and you won't have any lag there's one little error we may have and basically what that error is is it's going to stop us from recording okay so it's going to give us an error to record now, if that option happens, it's actually really simple on how to fix this. Basically, just pull the plug out and then plug it back in um, or automatically, immediately, or you can just power it off. So you just need to get rid of the power for about 10 seconds or immediately and it'll be fine. Um, or normally, I'll just plug it, unplug it until the screen goes off and then plug it back in and everything's pretty good that way. And then the other error you may have, which is actually not a bad error actually, and basically, it's not going to tell you what's on TV. And basically, to fix this error, what you want to do is just enter in that pin, um, the parental lock pin, and basically that is one, two, three, four. Um, if you don't enter it, you can just um, back out of it, then change the channel, and then back, and then you'll have a picture. So yeah, it, again, this is all very straightforward. And if you're following all the steps that I'm showing in today's video, I'm hoping you find it helpful. And if it helps, let us know down below. Uh, we do apologize for such a long video um, today. Uh, I know we're near the nine minutes and 40 seconds mark. So we'll just wait for this. Uh, we'll wait a few more minutes. If it's gonna take a little while, we'll just pause and edit this one out. But yeah, um, 
if you're ever having massive faults like uh, freezing a lot, a fail recordings, or just general IQ4 problems, this is always great to be at a factory, reset um, your box. And another great thing that I kind of like about it, now it's up to you if you want to do it this way, if you've got a bunch of recordings and you don't want any of them on the box and it's you don't want to hit delete after delete after delete taking forever, just uh, factory reset the box and you can make it as a new box too. Um, especially if you're giving it to someone um, in uh, someone else in your house, you can easily factory reset it so they don't have any of your stuff. They won't have your parental lock um, pin. They won't have your Wi-Fi pin, even though they'll be using the same Wi-Fi, but that will all be factory reset. So what we're going to do, we're just going to pause it for now, and then we're going to come back in about 10 minutes as soon as we get to the end of this. Good day guys, so we're right back and it's nearly done and basically this should have resolved most of the issues so we'll see what it's at on the um, Foxtel box. Now again, obviously you're going to lose picture at this point as my editor has just cut the signal again. Um, so we'll just wait for that to come back on. So again, basically it's just doing another reboot after that update and basically we should be all good to start watching some... Um, uh, Foxtel TV and obviously our on-demand titles will pop up in another 15 minutes same is with your TV guide will pop up in another 15 minutes as well basically it's just gonna say no programming it's a sort of a bit of an inconvenience with it so you won't know what's actually going to be on TV um, and for on-demand you're not going to be able to use that for about 15 minutes that's what I clocked it last time that I did it so obviously if everything's smooth sailing the next step, obviously, what we're going to do is set up the Wi-Fi, okay? And then, obviously, we're going to show you a recommended setting that we reckon just to keep your IQ4 running a bit better than it should be. So, basically, we want to hit... Let me just put the camera on so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so what you want to do here, you just want to hit back, and then you just can just type in the pin if you want to make this easier. Okay. So as you see, it's going to keep now asking us, but now she's not what you would normally expect. we have a picture. So now let's try to change the channel and see if we're going to get any sort of error. So let's just go to 600. And we want to hit yes to that. So again, because it's got no programming, but now we have the access to change all channels. Right here. So again, it's going to ask for this pin every time. So we'll just pause that for now, but basically every single channel is going to say no programming. Okay, so basically we're all set. Now basically all we need to do, which is actually quite simple, and we'll show you just how to do it. We want to go over to your um, settings. Now from here, basically we just want to go over to your network, and then we can go Wi-Fi. Okay, so obviously from Wi-Fi, we're just going to need to connect to that exact, uh, just connect to any internet, doesn't matter what internet, obviously. Um, so we'll just connect in right now. We'll just quickly type in our Wi-Fi password. It's going to always be a bit troubling. All right, so that's basically done. All right, let's hope that all worked. Now, another error you may find, and basically this happened to the first one we did, well, that I did, actually. Um, one of my friends did the other one, but this, what the first one I did, what happened, is when I tried to connect to the internet, before I even put a password in, I clicked on the Wi-Fi and just says connecting, connecting, connecting. If it does that, it's basically another reboot, um, but basically just unplug it, plug it back in, and that fixes that problem. So I'm not sure if it's doing it again with this one. If so, we will need to reboot that box. So we'll just wait. Um, we'll wait one more minute to see what happens here, um, because we don't want to um, keep this going on for a a while and no outcome happens. So we'll just wait. 
So it should have connected by now. So it seems, yeah. What we're going to do, we'll just re-enter that password again. All right. So we'll just check if that password's right. Okay, so there again, that is not right. There's a nine missing. Okay. So that could have been what has happened before. So it should connect in about 30 seconds. Okay, it has. Okay, so basically we've got internet connection now. So if we back out of that, back again. Uh, you can also do a speed test if you really want to make sure your internet is working. Uh, feel free to do a speed test, see how fast your network is running. So we should run about 13 megabits, something like that. Okay, yep, 8 megabits. <laughs> Alright, so that's everything connected right there. And if we go to on demand, it shouldn't be available. Store shouldn't be available. Apps should be available. Okay. So nothing is available in that one. But basically your box is fully set up. And actually our guide is now back too. So now your box is basically back to normal. Also you can now record. So obviously recording works perfectly. Um, so we'll just record um, right here. Uh, you can just, we'll just go link series. Um, go over to obviously your library. And basically everything is fine right now. So basically everything is set up. Now we're just going to show you a quick little setting that you can change. Um, obviously this is my opinion, but go over to TV Guy settings. Go down to the bottom. And energy saving, you want to flick off. I just find the box runs a hell of a lot better when you do this. So basically just hit back. Again, if you don't want to keep it on that, you can just hit undo by hitting the red button. So yeah, that's basically everything set up. So this was actually quite smooth in sailing. We ran into a few of these errors at first, but obviously while you do that update, obviously the errors go away. So basically that's everything in today's video. If it was helpful at all, let us know down below and hopefully you liked this long video we did do so it nearly reached 20 minutes. Uh, we do apologize for such a long video. Um, there's no shorter way of actually doing this um, sort of process. So uh, we do thank you guys that did watch it and um, we'll catch you guys in the next one. And we'll have a video tomorrow around um, 8 p.m. Um, Queensland time. So if you want to tune in around 8 p.m. tomorrow, um, we've got some other Foxtel videos coming as well. So hope we see you then, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.